Uh, this year at ASH 2023, there are several important updates. There are some up about uh, treatment, but I also really liked an update uh, on diagnostics. And that was an oral presentation by a small company, and they are developing a test for lambda light chains that can predict if these light chains are forming amyloid or not. And this can really help in the early diagnosis of AL amyloidosis. So that's an important uh, oral presentation that I saw. The data is too fresh, too, too, too well, not um, big enough to, to be implemented yet, but I think in the coming years we, we, we will hear much more about that. So menu stage three cardiac AL amyloidosis means that, um, that, that your heart is involved with the amyloid. So we have lots of amyloid in your heart and it's the worst stage you can have. So 3B means that your survival is really poor because your heart failure is really, really bad. And we uh, stage those patients with biomarkers in the blood. So you have a very high NT pro BMP level and an elevated troponin T or I level in the blood. So the EMN22 clinical trial was a trial especially for these um, cardiac stage 3B patients. And what we did, we uh, gave them daratumumab monotherapy and the primary endpoint of this study was to improve uh, the overall survival. So we didn't look at responses at all, but we said the main point is that with this worst survival that these patients have, we, we must improve it. So we, uh, in, in the trial, uh, ended up with the final result indeed that we improved the survival from historical five months to now 10 months. Like I just explained, we, we, the, the overall survival improved. And uh, we did see that still in the beginning, patients with cardiac station 3B amyloidosis, they don't tolerate treatment that well. So we did see in the beginning that we lost patients uh, due to uh, cardiac complications. But uh, later on, most patients did respond on therapy and um, uh, also uh, many patients could uh, uh, fulfill the two-year treatment that was in the protocol. So the side effects of the daratumumab are mostly infectious and they are most, mostly treatable and did not lead to stopping any of the therapy. But um, uh, the other side effects were indeed heart failure or cardiac uh, fibrillation or other cardiac problems. Uh, that is not due to the drug, but is due to the disease in the, in the advanced stage. Yeah, so this is very exciting. There are two more is a kind of immune therapy, and uh, like in myeloma, also in AL amyloidosis, we're moving to the next step of immune therapy, and that these are the bispecific antibodies. And there are some posters uh, here at ASH, but also already publications about uh, the use of teclistamab. That's an anti-BCMA bispecific antibody, and it's used in um, in AL amyloidosis, and it's working so great. You know, you have nearly 100% response rate. Patients tolerate it very good, but one of the side effects of that drug is um, cytokine release syndrome. And that can be dangerous to your heart, can be dangerous to patients. You can have a low blood pressure with that uh, syndrome. So at the moment, we really pick out the, the best uh, patients that can tolerate that. And that are not the 3B patients, but patients with less heart involvement, for example, uh, they were tested in these uh, small retrospective cohorts, but the data are looking very promising. And now we're working very hard in the European amyloidosis field to have a pr prospective trial with these type of drugs, uh, for, for example, for relapsed patients, because we are really excited about the data.